Mark was such a, uh, uh, a a giving guy. Like like everything everything he did, uh, you know, away from hockey and was for his family. Tremendous uh, sense of humor. Uh, was able to keep the room light, which uh, very few people can do over the course of a season uh, the way he did. Reader was. Uh... He's one of those guys on the ice that was um, really good with his stick. Reader would always randomly just kind of skate out onto the ice and bust up the drill by swiping at the puck if someone was passing it with their heads down. And uh, He would be the first one if uh, if you missed the first pass in a practice to, to let you know that you're asleep. And so uh, he'd give you the old cockadoodle do wake up and it would echo uh, throughout the rink. And that's when you knew all eyes were on you and uh, you better pick it up. And uh, being the goalie, he, you know, you didn't get that shot that time because he, he knocked it off their stick and I just giggled back there. Little quirky things like that, Reader was good at. He had such a dry sense of humor and um, that's a man I'll never forget. He was a guy that really just took us all under his wing and just really stressed living the day-by-day -day process in the NHL. And uh, he knew more about the little things that it took to to play in the NHL than they ever thought anybody could. Rita was, loved the bike, but his bike, he had the oldest bike, I don't know how many years old it was, but you changed the gears down on the, on the frame still. So it was, it was, that bike was old. So, but he used to surf on the internet about bikes and he knew, like he, when he seen a bike and, and how it was made up and he'd know the price of the price range and he'd always tell me, oh Dave, look at this. This is a $2,500 bike you can get for $1,100. Here and stuff like that. I said, well, Rita, well, treat yourself. Treat like you like you work hard, you bike, you deserve that. No, you're in the National Hockey League, treat yourself. But he never would because he, he always would take that money and, and it would go towards his family. Uh, the Kyle and Kelsey, uh, Kyle was moving, uh, getting relocated in a new city. Kelsey was still at school. He'll be missed, especially in our organization, I'm sure, uh, far more than I'll ever understand how many uh, more lives and, and players he touched. Just a guy that you know, came to the rink happy and, and proud to be there and uh, never took a day for granted. And uh, just a guy that always thought about everybody else uh, before himself.